This is getting started with Energy Plus. The Energy Plus install package includes the main simulation engine and some utilities for running Energy Plus and creating and editing input. These are EP Launch and IDF Editor. There are other third party tools and other free add ons available for working with Energy Plus. One of these is the Open Studio plugin for Google SketchUp. Another is the Energy Plus example file generator. There's additional weather data available at the energyplus.gov website, Open Studio Results Viewer, and there are links to third party products uh, with graphical user interfaces for using Energy Plus. When you have installed Energy Plus in the main install folder, which will by default be C colon Energy Plus version 600 or whatever the current version release is, there are some subfolders there which have useful pieces. The datasets folder has predefined Energy Plus objects for things such as materials, boilers, chillers, schedules, a variety of things. These are simply Energy Plus input files which contain predefined Energy Plus IDF objects. For example, the schedules file contains schedules. There's documentation as to the source of where these are from, and then a variety of schedule objects in Energy Plus syntax. These can be viewed in a text editor or accessed via the IDF editor. The documentation folder contains PDF files of Energy Plus documentation. These can be accessed either by opening the main menu. There's a link from the start menu, Energy Plus programs. There's also links from within EP Launch and IDF editor. Input output reference and getting started are the places to start. The getting started document includes two tutorial examples with step-by-step -step instructions for doing some simple Energy Plus runs and also give some overview of how Energy Plus is structured. The main menu document also includes an indexed uh, search across all the documents in the Energy Plus system. So if we were to search for Solar Collector, we would get uh, links to each occurrence of that phrase across all the documentation. There is also an example files folder. The example files cover the use of every single feature in Energy Plus with at least one example file. To find the correct example file for what you're looking for, there are two spreadsheets in the example files folder, one called examplefiles.xls, which contains a row for every example file with a summary of features, including a description of what the key feature is that this example file is used for. The other example file directory is called examplefilesobjectlink.xls. If you know the name of the Energy Plus object class that you are looking for, such as compliance building, this will list the first three example files which use that object. The example files are an excellent way to learn how the various parts of Energy Plus go together. When reviewing a particular example file, First, open it in the text editor to review the comments at the top, which describe the file, how it's structured, what type of objects are contained in the file. Then you can review it in IDF editor using view objects with classes only and see how many of various types of objects are present in the file and what types of objects have been used. Then you can run the simulation and look at the output files to gain further understanding of how this output file behaves. You can also create custom example files using the Energy Plus example file generator. Link to this from the mainenergyplus.gov webpage. Go to example file generator and launch. And this provides web-based forms to choose from a variety of building types and specify some custom features about the building and generate a fully working Energy Plus input file and results, which will be emailed when the run has completed. This is an excellent way to understand and compare different options, what the changes in the input file, 
and to see how various system types are assembled in Energy Plus. To learn more about EP Launch and IDF Editor, please view the separate videos about each of those programs.